everybody, this is the next assignment. I call it the nugget drawing series. Uh, it's not chicken nuggets. It's a, you say nugget because it's like you're going to make one drawing. It's going to be a seed, a little nugget seed that will you'll use to put in two or three or four different compositions. Um, so it, your idea is going to grow from there. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple examples and explain it a little further. So here we go. Um, here's uh, the first example. So this student had done an ink drawing just with an ink pen of these trees and instead of drawing them multiple times on here they took this one little uh, nugget drawing and they used Photoshop uh, where they took the drawing the ink drawing and then they made this background um, and then they put them together in Photoshop and made multiples of this and layered and made a new composition so that's the little nugget that created this um, th here's an example of someone their nugget drawing was a pencil drawing and what they did was <clears throat> they got um, printouts black and white uh, inkjet printouts of the hand and they may they transferred them using an essential oil um, transfer process which you'll learn more about um, and how to do it um, onto the watercolor paper and then they started to make a series so their series they're using this sort of graphic element of these colorful swirling lines um, but here they did the drawing once and they were able to transfer it twice to make this composition here they transferred it once um, and then drew this into it and here they used the hand again, um, but then drew the the uh, piano and then added color to it. So this was just their stage. They ink transferred the hand, drew the piano in. Actually, I think they drew the piano, put the hand in, and then um, put the swirls on there. Here's another one where this is a really simple little ink line drawing, um, and they use this to, here's just one transfer where it's just on this wet into wet um, watercolor bleeding technique, and you can see where the white is because it's an ink transfer, you see through it. And so what's, what's cool about doing this, instead of drawing it directly on there, you get to transfer it. And then here on this one with the flag, they um, in Photoshop, they sized it down a lot, made multiples of them, and then they ink transferred them on here. And here's another one. This is um, you know, a, a drawing that the student spent a good amount of time doing a really thoughtful, close, cross-hatching drawing. Um, so this is this student's nugget. And then you can see here's a, a watercolor background, and then they transfer it on top. And again, you can see wherever there's white in this ink, black and white ink drawing, ink printout of it, um, you see through it. And so you get this interesting layering, right? Um, and then here they made a second background, um, not representational, um, and transferred it on top of the, the this sort of very expressive, splattered, dripping watercolor background. And then they painted back on top of part of it to, that's a little more opaque, that seems to echo the splatters and things. And then this, they did a third one. So same, so the three nugget, the same little corn drawing, the hands holding the corn, gets transferred three times and this time instead of on watercolor paper or white drawing paper <clears throat> they took a, a colorful print page from a magazine and transferred on top of it and then used uh, opaque these are acrylic paints actually and they blocked out most of it right you can see through some areas so some translucency and then they had their own white ink pen that they they drew white lines on top um, so that's basically the the idea Okay, so you're going to make a nugget and then I'm, we'll play around with making different techniques and backgrounds. Um, we'll also play around with, you know, some drawing techniques that you can use. Um, but what you're going to want to do is think about what your nugget's going to be. Um, so the examples in this last one, um, there was a prompt for this. And this, this person, their prompt, they were exploring um, genetically modified foods, right? So there, it was like a topic and an idea. And that just got them to make the first drawing. They didn't know what they were going to do for the backgrounds. And they just played around and made stuff. And so what I'm saying here, so it's just a little jumping off point. <clears throat> Since we're in this really special time in history, I want to throw three prompts out to you. And I would like you to, you know, pick one to think about as like as you decide what you want to do for your nugget drawing. So I'm throwing this out to you. I want you to spend like the week thinking about this, maybe even a week and a half. And in that time, we'll do some drawing exercises, okay? But I want to say this to you now so you have a little time to mull it over. Um, and you can, you can pick one of these. You can think about all of them and then decide which one you want to do. But think about it, if you had, if you could finish this sentence with a true statement. So you'd have to be able to kind of be able to say this is a true statement. How would you f finish this? So all Americans, dot, 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 right? So for example, you wouldn't be able to say all Americans love baseball because that you can't say that. 
<laughs> it's not true. Um, but so how could you make this statement? What would it be? Um, or you could choose living during a pandemic, dot, 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 dot. And see if you can make a, this is more of, see if you challenge yourself to make a true statement. Um, how many different types of true statements could you make? Um, or you could choose each day I. Okay, so um, just throwing those three out there for now. Um, this is a write-up of the assignment. We could talk about this a little more. I'll give it to you. But I want to just show you real quick here. Um, I'll share this slideshow with you. But just the process, like here's someone's nugget. They had a background. And then how it's going to get developed. And I hope this makes you think of your name tag tense kind of how you were adding contrast, doing bump and jump and stuff, okay? So, um, and what I'm adding in here is that you can, as you make your first or second moves, right, putting down a, an ink transfer, the placement and things, you can make a thumbnail of it and think about, and I, I just want to point out that this is an area, a shape. There's no line there, but you can see it's it's because there's this pattern here, right? And even this area here, this sort of becomes like a zone or an area. So sometimes shapes are really sharply defined and sometimes the edge between them isn't so clear, okay? Um, so we could talk about this a little more. I'm just gonna show you the visuals real quick in this video. But um, I want you to think about how, similar to your name tag, you're doing like washes and layering, increasing the contrast, um, you know, adding textures and lines, um, and you can see your composition. I would just sort of a thumbnail of this. I would still have those major shapes, but now this even becomes like a an area or a shape. Okay, um, and this is just a little exercise when we can when we can analyze your composition. Cool. So that's a whole bunch of words, but that's basically what you're going to be doing. Okay, so put the ideas in the back of your head maybe what your nugget idea would be. And over the next couple classes, we're gonna play around with doing some drawings. Cool, that's it.